Right, brace yourselves, guys. Sonic and the Secret Rings. I fucking hate this game. The controls are sluggish and clumsy. You can hardly control Sonic from left to right. You've got to really upgrade your abilities in order to make the game playable. It's just a joke. The controls are rubbish, you know. It should have been... Oh, I, I know Sega were kind of experimenting with that, but you know. Oh, the, the controls just did not work. They felt so broken, and as a result, it completely ballsed up the game, and it just made it so horrible to play. There's this one, uh, there's this one boss where you've got to run Sonic, where Sonic runs from left to right, and you've still got to tilt the, the we remote forward and backwards in order to move him. You know, confusing. Fuck. Ah, oh, it's. Oh. I'm holding back a hell of a lot because I could spit a shitload of venom at this game. I really do hate this game so much. This is my least favourite Sonic of all time, and I say that above Sonic 06 and Sonic Labyrinth for fuck's sake. Oh. Well, I'm going to stop there because I know what I'm like. <laughs> so thankfully all that was fixed for Sonic and the Black Knight. I haven't, um, I haven't finished this yet, but I'm getting onto it, you know, I'm playing it bit by bit and I'm really enjoying it, you know, the controller's been mapped to the analog stick, which is what should have been done in the first place. I wonder what the uh, Wi-Fi connection was for. I think that was for leaderboard scores or something like that. That's all the Nintendo's or Wi-Fi ever was ever used for nowadays, or at least properly anyway. It's hardly ever used for fucking online games. <coughs> uh, yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty much running with Sonic. You know, the, the, the control has been fixed. You know, you run with the, uh, the Wii, uh, you run with the analog stick. And Sonic jumps properly this time. He doesn't have to charge up his jump, which is stupid. You know, I mean, Sonic in the Secret Rings, he has to think about jumping before he does it. You know, you press A. Is it A to jump or is it 2? I can't remember. I think it was 2 to jump. But whatever. You press the button to jump, but Sonic's like, Ah, uh, I've got to jump now. Whoop! And by then you fucking run into a wall and it was too fucking late. But yes, but I guess I'm glad that they're kind of uh, fixed all the control issues with Black Knight. Uh, the sword swinging mechanism is a bit hit and miss, you know, sometimes you'll swing it and he won't swing his sword. But it's a hell of a lot better to play than Secret Rings. Super Paper Mario! Do -do -do. Now, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, I like this game. I, like, I, I did like that they shifted from the standard uh, a 3D world, well, from the, uh, I say 3D world, it, in um, uh, the original Paper Mario games, and they did the whole 2D and then a 3D switching over thing, which I thought worked really well. And it was a really interesting engine. You know, it'd be nice if they did that again, sort of thing, but probably not make the, uh, the, the cutscenes and dialogue a little bit more drawn out than what they are in this. But yeah, that's pretty much it for that. You know, I enjoyed it. I played it through many times and completed it about twice. I was tempted to do an LP of that actually, but I kind of decided against it after doing the original Paper Mario. Shame, really. Super Mario Galaxy! Now, you guys already know what I think of this because I, I did my LP of it. And of course, you guys should know by now that I have Super Mario Galaxy 2! Now, one thing and one thing alone really pisses me off about this game and that's that the tutorial DVD learn how to play the game I'm sorry but people that have bought Super Mario Galaxy 2 are likely to be the ones that have a played and completed through Super Mario Galaxy the first one so they don't fucking need the tutorial DVD and B people that you know have probably played video games before. I very much doubt that casual gamers are actually going to pick this up thinking, oh, we'll buy this. <coughs> <coughs> and even if they did, I'm sure, sure they could pick up the bloody controls as quickly as possible. I mean, it's not the hardest thing to grasp. I mean, I'm so annoyed with this. Look, I haven't even opened it yet. Because I, I absolutely refuse to watch it. You know, someone, a player gamer like me does not need a fucking... DVD to tell me how to play a game that's pretty much a spin-off from the first game that I've already played and completed. 
and much like a lot of other people that have played through and completed it, they, they don't need it as well. Okay, I know we don't need to watch the DVD and we don't have to, but the fact that you've included it is just, just tells us that you... Th oh. Sorry, guys. And finally, WarioWare Smooth Moves. Now, I really like what this did with the Wii Remote. You know, you put it in so many positions, you know, it was amazing. Yeah, you put it up against your nose, you could do an elephant, you hold it you hold it with both hands and it's like a bicycle pump. This game is brilliant. Um, <clears throat> this game kind of tells me that I know at some point that there's going to be a Star Fox game on the Wii because of the, uh, the Star Wing mini game on it. And that controlled really well. I thought that was brilliant. In fact, whenever I go back to this... Uh, at times when I do, not only do I play, I, I also I, I play the um, uh, the darts multiplayer mini game because I think that works really well as well. But I always go to the uh, the eight bit and sixteen the, the, the retro uh, mini games because I think those are brilliant. That's pretty much all I play this repeatedly over for now. Oh, I think that's it, guys. Uh, I'm not very sure. I'm not missing anything. Nope. Well, there you go. There is my Wii collection. Loving it.